Hey, New England. Now that kickoff has officially kicked off, it's time to introduce you to a new program for our New England teams, the Any First BAE Systems Minibot Challenge. Now, the Minibot Challenge is a series of challenges that will take a Romy robot that we're going to send to you, and you're gonna build it, you're gonna run it through the challenges, you're gonna videotape it, or use your camera phone, whatever, record the times, and submit them. And what we'll do is we'll judge those times, and then the winners will receive some great prizes and, of course, accolades from any first. The idea here is to use this great platform, the Romy platform that our friends at uh, BA Systems have provided. And this platform has got an integrated IMU, it's got a three axis accelerometer and a gyro, it's got expansion ports, you can put sensors and servos and a whole bunch of other things. Um, we're also gonna send you a Raspberry Pi to go with it and an SD card and some batteries. And the idea here is that you've got everything you need to be able to do this, to, to play the game that we're going to send to you and to make it so that you can get going quickly and learn some skills that you can apply to the FRC robots. It uses the WPI lib for programming and the idea is that you can build a project for the Romy and then transfer those skills instantly over to the big robot that you are building to play Infinite Recharge. So with that, let's go take a look at the robot itself. I've got my friend Zeke here from Team 172 Northern Force. What do you got there, Zeke? This is the BAE Systems Minibot Challenge. Let's open it up. All right, let's see, what do we got? We've got the Raspberry Pi, got our wheels and ball bearings, among other things, got our power cord, got our micro SD, got our batteries there, and we've got our motors, and then finally, we have our Bromy board. Set this aside. Let's build this thing. Now, as I had said, the Minibot Challenge is actually a series of challenges. And the first of these challenges is to drive through a maze. You'll be doing that both autonomously and also with a driver. So you'll need to build that driver station. We'll have you take two runs with the robot uh, and we're gonna have you time them and then submit those times for our review. And then, uh, as I said, we'll be sending you those robot kits. You'll receive those in the next couple of weeks. And at the same time, we'll send you details about the maze that we do want you to run. The maze isn't gonna be very big. It's something you can do at home which is fantastic, and we're excited to see how you do. Now, after that maze, there's going to be some additional challenges. They'll be harder, and as we move into April, May, June, as we get through, maybe hopefully with vaccines running, maybe we might be able to get together, and we can bring these robots along with our big robots to events, then have side challenges happen with those uh, robots together. And even if we can't, we'll have additional challenges that we can do at home. We're very excited about this. We're also excited about our sponsor, BAE Systems, and they've generously provided funding so that we can send a kit to every registered team here in New England so that they can take part in BAE Systems Minibot Challenge. We'd also like to thank those amazing volunteers who make the WPI Lib possible. And they've been working hard behind the scenes so that you can make a project and code that robot on day one. So thanks again to BAE Systems and to the great volunteers at the WPI Lib. And with that, consider the Any First 2021 season officially kicked off. Good luck, everybody, and have a great season.